Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Kansas City Royals going up against the Atlanta Braves. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And, and we got a rubber Go. match on our hands today, Atlanta. partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so... We should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Thorne steps in for the Royals. A big game for him last night. He had four hits in that one. On the ground to third. Luplo over to first. Two away. Cool. And next up for the Royals, Thorne. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Hammered on the line, base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Next offering is in for a strike. Gonzalez, the lead runner at second, Thorne. At first, two out of the inning. And that one almost got him. That's off the mark, and that's ball three. Matt Chapman next up for Kansas City. job at damage control right there they get a run on three hits no errors and two men left on we move on to the bottom of inning number three it's the Royals one and the Braves nothing First and second, no outs. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. He's 0 for 1. The 0 1. Double play ball to second, flips for 1. Relay to first, double play. Really nice double play turn right there. And it all started with that sweet glove flip on the feed to second. You know, these middle infielders, they spend a lot of time honing that glove work, so it just becomes like second nature. I think you also have to have a really good glove that's broken in, that's not too large, so that you can have a... Now so two down. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Sean Murphy. He's 0 for 1. The 1-2. One And that one hit to first. Thorne takes it to the bag. And that is the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're down two to one. Thorne steps in for the Royals. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And that one hammered back there. Gone! Big dog's got to eat. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 3-1. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact.
he's playing wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure at the play Thorn he's already homered in this game Chris baseball today so many strikeouts and they are available to pitchers but this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in day out drilled out towards left center field that's well struck Ozuna going back back some more still going back gone Big dog's gotta eat. That'll fire up the dugout. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 9-2. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. When the guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Matt Olson. The first baseman. Matt. Lyles, back to work. Hard hit, right side. Takes it himself, oh. and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. Up next for Atlanta, the left fielder, Marcel. Thorne getting ready to hit. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Come on, Daddy, like a big dog. Right time, right time. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Johnson at third. Pasquintino on at first with two down. Base hit and a run in to score. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. New pitcher for the Braves, Colin McHugh. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now here is Salvador Perez. And Acuna able to make the grab. And that'll do it. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Royals 11 and the Braves 2. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. One for three. Hit on the ground might be two. To second, there's one. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Royals 11 and the Braves 3. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. And your final, 11-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show.